Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments. Now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Iden. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Aiden is not the only one I miss. Now that Ryan's gone, I realize how much I loved him. I understand how Nathan must have felt. Nothing is worse than knowing you'll never hold someone in your arms again. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. It took me a while to realize how much I loved him. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd, I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone.
We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. He said he understood. That he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. They took me in when I was alone. When all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or judging me. Deep down, I knew that my place was there. With them. Stan does odd jobs here and there. Jimmy's gone back to school. He's clean now. Tuesday works behind a bar, and Walter looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but 
they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am, just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. There's something about her big, sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but... We both know we have something in common. things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. I have to prepare. I know I don't have much time. Pandora's box is open. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. He said he understood that he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. How could I live a normal life again after all I've been through? How, who wants to live a normal life anyway? Boyfriend, job, counting the days till my next vacation. I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. where strange things happen. Motel rooms that no one ever wants to sleep in again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses. They sleep in our beds. They're with us every second of every day. I know they're lurking in the shadows. How much I've missed you. I see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but. It's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again.
I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. things at night. about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. They took me in when I was alone, when all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or, or judging me. Deep down, I knew that my place was there, with them. Stan does odd jobs here and there. Tuesday looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am. Just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> this way. Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. There's something about her big, sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but... We both know we have something in common. I see things at night. Terrifying things. It's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. I have to prepare her. I know 
I don't have much time. This Pandora's box is open. What is about to happen? How could I live a normal life again after all I've been through? How, who wants to live a normal life anyway? Boyfriend, job, counting the days till my next vacation. I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. Homes where strange things happen. Motel rooms that no one ever wants to sleep in again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses sleep in our beds. They're with us every second of every day. I know they're lurking in the shadows. I've missed you.
I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. 